Welcome to the 1989 Goldpin Coca-Cola Classic. A round one match between Ken Sheen and Gary Key. This is a bit of a grudge match. The two having met in last year's Coca-Cola Classic. And Ken Sheen ending a successful run. He's up first. Well, that was certainly not the uh, start he wanted. Tony, uh, what did you think of that one? Well, I think it's, Terry, it's the bane of the full roller shot. The shot of the 60s and the 70s in Australia. That soft shot that doesn't quite get the 8 pin out with the 10 and leaves the 8 10. Takes one out. And he'll have to settle for an open frame. Nine in the first. Gary Key is from Glebe in New South Wales. 31 years of age. He's played in one Coke before. He's a two times winner of the Southgate Grand Prix, the 88 Hornsby Grand Prix, and Bennett's Green Grand Prix, and runner up in the Brisbane Cup of 89. He has a high game of 299 and a high series of 776. He lost to Ken Sheen in this tournament last year after reeling off a number of wins. Let's see how he goes here. Yes, and starts with a strike. That's what he wanted. He's keyed up for this match. He really means business here this afternoon. Gary really psychs himself up. He's an excellent player and a good technician of the ball, of the game. He just gets the ball down, lets the ball run up. Look at the determination on his face there. Yes, Terry, he's very pumped up. You see the action cam here, the ball going through. Just tripping the five pin out very late there, but nevertheless, it's a strike. They all count, and of course, if he can get another 11 of those in a row, he's up for a uh, new Holden Nova. The SLE sedan compliments of Motorama Holden here in Springwood in Queensland. And a great prize for a perfect game of 300. Come on, hold! Oh dear, he was unlucky. He called that one. He wanted it. Very animated is Gary Key. He's a rock musician. I think he's pumped himself up with a bit of uh, hard rock before this match. Yes, Chris, uh, as we saw while he was practicing, he sits around, pumps himself up. This shot here going in. The five pin not getting to the seven pin. A lot of people think maybe a bit unlucky, but he still should be aiming for ten in the pit. He's a good, he's a great player. But the ball there hitting the five pin, not enough. Very pumped up, Terry. He's very pumped up out there. Yeah, closes the frame. Safely in with a spare. Nice, smooth action there of Gary Key. He takes a seat now. It's, uh, as we look at this one, takes out the seven pin. Never in doubt. Says to, him, says, says to himself, now it goes. Ken Sheen cleans them up. That's what he wanted, a good reply. And, of course, Kenny Sheen, a veteran of the game at 54. He's a bowling centre manager. He's uh, won the 88 Caboolture Open and the runner-up in the Bundamba Cup. Some of, it, some of his career highlights as we look at this one again. Much better shot, that one, Chris. Moved outside a little bit on that shot. Made an adjustment and carried the 8-10 bunch better that time. There's a high game of 299 and a high series 799. Love to win a major tournament. Let's call that one as a Brooklyn. Pointed it to it like a cricket umpire calling a wide. But gets the desired result. Put the finger up, Chris, and that means it's out. They're all down. Well, as we've seen from this shot, the, the Brooklyn shot's really determining the matches at the moment. And it, uh, well, well, maybe it can happen here. But Ken is a great player. He's an old player. He's been out there a long, long time. He was captain of the Australian side in 1971, 18 years ago, and he's still out there playing. But he is back to Gary. Very determined. Yes. Nice reply from Gary Key. He has two strikes and a spare. His first three frames. And at the end of the uh, third frame, as we watch, key shot coming across nicely. He looked at it. Bit of luck there with a couple of pins coming across. And uh, at the end of the third frame, it's Gary Key in front by 11 pins. Winner of the 1989 Goldpin Coca-Cola Classic will receive a check for $4,000 and will be flying Qantas to Las Vegas, USA to compete in the Million Dollar High Roller Tournament. Very interesting encounter this one between Gary Key, who's up on lane 12, and Ken Sheen. Gary Key, of course, from Glebe in New South Wales, 31 years of age, and one of the real characters in the game. He moves across to lane 11. He's looking for a double here, Terry. Very determined look. 
Gary's extremely determined. He's, a, he's just a great player. You can't say enough about him. Come up. Called it to come up. Didn't come where it wanted it to. Of course, he qualified 16th in the tournament. We look at this one again on replay. Key, not happy with that. Yes, Chris, he got a bit wide on this shot. He pushed it a little bit too long. Didn't quite get up to the head, and there it goes and leaving the bucket. What do you think, Tony? In the past, past well, probably 12 months, Gary's changing his game to adapt to uh, drier conditions, and these aren't drier conditions. No, it's very confusing out there, Terry. The guys are changing to these drier conditions we're playing on today, and as I say, you come out here with this shot. Let's see how it goes. That's fine. Covered it well. Yes, right. sir. They, they've changed their shots a little bit to the dry lane shot, and then you go out here and the ball goes a little bit too long on you, and you've got to adjust very fast. Ken Sheen now is looking to make this a turkey. Three in a row, three strikes in a row. If he gets this, Chris, he uh, goes in the lead. Not to be. Crowd enthralled here at Logan City Lanes. Ken Sheehan, nickname, the old man of bowling. There it is. Let's see what he does wrong here, guys. Well, that was a bit of a tired shot there, Chris. He uh, pulled that one across his body, never really followed through. Safely through for the spare, closes the frame. So really nothing in it at the moment. Nothing at all. That's why opening the first frame of one of these matches isn't that disastrous. If you can come back with a couple of strikes, you see here Ken's gone to another ball to pick up the spare, safely picks it up and wants to get another strike. He likes it. Yeah, down on one knee was Ken Sheep. And that's exactly what he wanted. Crowd appreciating some of the fine bowling that we've witnessed so far. Ken Sheen takes a rest, a deserved one. Good confidence stroke there from Ken. He liked that, yes. Back on target. Of course, he's the ninth seed. An average of 205 in the uh, seedings tournament. High game of 246. Ken was to strike out a 257 would be his and Gary still on a 260 if he strikes out. See what he can do on lane 12. Oh, gee. Oh. Thought that one might come across, the traveller. The famous messenger that's called Chris as we watch the replay here. You'll see that Gary sends the ball out wide. He's got a little bit wide of the target. It's coming up, it's coming up. Gets the message. There goes, cross the deck. It's coming across. Oh, no, it just didn't quite get it before the machine. Here we'll see a good, good and this pin, pin cam here. You see the pin just almost left the 710, but this pin just going way too slow to knock it over. The machine beats it to it. Still a great contest. This for a spare for Key. Oh, and he's gone past it. Could be a telling mistake here. Well, this is this is what uh, I was saying before. Gary, if you watch him when he's standing there, he's got his wrist broken way back. He's playing for drier lanes, and these aren't drier lanes. The condition here, you've got to get the ball down. You've got to go back to lifting the ball, and he paid the price. He, he's mixed up. He's confused. He's just not sure what he's doing out there. He's got to put that shot out of his mind now. He's trying to turn himself around. Yeah, well, he's just told himself something. Yeah, forget that one. It's all over. That one's done. Can't change that one. Let's get a strike here. It was disappointing in the uh, seedings tournament. Only 16th with an average of 199, but a high game of 269. Let's see what he can do. Once again, he's left three pins up. The adrenaline on that one, Chris, got a little bit too heavy for him. He started to push that one long again. and started pumping up, made the ball go too long once again. Just doesn't quite get up to the headpin again. Anguish on his face. Very awkward spare he's left himself here. Not an easy spare, not an easy spare. Again, that hidden pin behind the front pin, the eight pin. Always the possibility of leaving it behind. Oh, there it is, and also with the seven. Didn't get the kick. Well, that's disappointing for Gary Key. That's two open frames in a row as we watch this one on lane 11. Again, you'll see there, he's just not used to the ball going so straight, especially when you play down the middle of the lane in the centre. The ball goes a lot straight. He's now open two frames. He just looks up and says, I'm dead. Ken Sheen there had the opportunity to uh, really assert his uh, superiority, but failing. Put the screws on there. He could have pressed well indeed. He could have really made it hard for Gary then. We see the ball coming up too, too fast, too fast. Ken's a very tough customer. Very tough indeed. 
safely through with a spare. He would have liked that. And after six frames here in the round one match between Ken Sheen and Gary Key, it's Sheen in front by 11 pins. You have probably wondered, how can a pin take such a pounding from bowling balls? The secret is, they are made from especially hard timber sections laminated together with an extremely durable nylon coating. Actually, each pin is 15 inches high and weighs around 3 pounds, 7 ounces. Back gallery here at the Logan City Lanes for this round one match between Ken Sheen and Gary Key. And at the moment, Ken Sheen in front by 11 pins key taking his time thinking about missed opportunity shaking the head trying to get back on track as Sheen comes in oh almost got a lucky strike then went within one pin of getting that one but it could have gone either way Chris if that pin had come across and just taken the middle out it would have been a split he will see it the ball goes down he doesn't like it ball comes up pin rolls across if he'd just taken out the two pin he'd looked at a four five split and that, that's pretty difficult takes out both there it is the old man Ken Sheen the bowling center manager from Virginia safely takes out that spare now the pressure really on Gary Key as we watch that one he liked it there was no doubt that was gonna miss now that uh, second ball he's got a great spare ball the here for Gary Gary now knows he's got a strike you can see it. He's just told himself, take a little bit more time, and uh, be off. Oh, yeah. Bit of luck that time, but always helps in 10 pin bowling. Well, Chris, he sat on the bench for two shots and watched Ken Sheehan throw two balls and didn't put him away. So he comes up with this shot and says, I've got to nail it. Just gets a 10 out. He says, all right, I'm back in the match. I'm here back we see it match. here. You'll see the six pin just fall over, just carry the 10. A bit of a soft 10, you reckon, Tom? Uh, Tony? Yes, Terry. Uh, it was a little bit of a soft 10. The forward roll tends to not to want to get that 10 pin out of the corner. It's a very risque type of shot. Oh. Oh, it's not even close. You can hear that. That was uh, Gary Key. As trying you can, to uh, talk it out that time. You know, he's very, very upset with him. As I said, you can see, he is just such a good player. He knows it was a bad shot. As soon as he lets go of the ball, he goes, oh, my God, what's happened? What am I doing? He knows what he should be doing, but he's just not doing it. This comes back to confusion. Trying to throw it straight. Now he knows he has to turn it. He's just a little confused. That was a spare well. Kerry, you think that uh, these two players have both basically represented Australia on numerous occasions. Uh, do you think they're a little bit tense out there than the other players? I don't know. I don't. I think uh, Ken is just purely machine. He wants to go out there and kill, and uh, Gary's precision. Ken comes off a spare with nine. Let's have a look at that. Top shot. Would have liked one more pin to drop, I think. Definitely would have liked one more pin. You'll see it here. Ball guns across the head pin, doesn't carry the nine pin, goes back for the spare. Covers the spare nevertheless. That's the main thing, keep covering your spares. The match is pretty well poised at the moment with the bowlers the way they're bowling, that literally anybody can still pull this match out. Certainly can. If uh, Ken happens to be a bit unlucky and open the frame, well, Garrett can get right back in the match with four strikes. But uh, if Ken strikes here, he almost seals it. That's the one. That's what Gary Key would have been hoping he wouldn't do. And the crowd appreciate that one. Ken Sheen takes a seat. So we have a look at this one again. Gets it outside. Says, come on, come on. Up you come. That's the one. That's where it is. He says, you beaut. Let's get that shot in there. All well, he knows, he just wants a strike. Thank you. Thumbs up. Gary Key making a little bit of adjustment there on the lane. Something bothering him. Obviously, all the distractions count when you're under pressure. Gary is such an intense player and such a good concentrator. He's a dentist by uh, profession. Yeah, he liked it. So Gary goes out to play every shot technically. He wants to be perfect. He is the perfectionist. 
And we have a look again at Gary Key. This is a vital strike. He really did need this one. Yes, Chris, he gets the ball out in the lane well this time. Much better roll on the ball that time. Much more intense shot. As we see the action cam go through the late nine pin, just toppling over. 99 frames down, and Ken Sheen still leads by 19 pins. Coca-Cola Gold Pin Classic continues here on Nines Wide World of Sports. This is Gary Key struggling for survival against Ken Sheen. He really needs to strike out if he can do that. It's a 196. Ken Sheen, if he strikes out, is a 215. So really, it's up to Gary now. Chris, the situation is that if Gary can strike out, he'll make Ken throw the first strike in the tenth frame when he does bowl. So this is a very important shot. Oh, come on, please. The bane of the forward roller, that 10 pin. Yes, this just goes back to what we were saying. You know, trying to play this soft shot, it's just not going to do the job. You've got to get out there and roll the ball. You must get the ball to roll into the pocket. It's got to be gripping the lane. It's still floating. Goes in, soft 10. See you later. A lot of loft on this ball here. As you see, he lifts it right out on the lane. But it's still forward, don't you think, it's Tony? It's still forward. It's sort of a bit of a waste. It covers the spare well. I really did believe that Gary would go ahead and strike out. He's just the type of player to uh, to go out and do it. Well, he put the ball in the right place, as you've seen, go for the spare here. Across the lane, the ball slides, 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 and got it great. No problem. And of course, he didn't want that. He wanted that strike. He needed that strike there. Nevertheless, Ken Sheen still has to keep clean. High on the head pin that time. Disappointing finish for Gary Key. He can't believe it. He'll have to settle for a 174. Well, Gary never got a break in the match, really, to a point in this time. He couldn't get that 10 pin out, and I think you have to carry those types of shots. It's very important for players like Gary to do that. And Ken Sheen makes it a double. He'd like to strike out here. Average is all important as we're into the 10th frame. We, as we said at the beginning, it's a bit of a grudge match. Ken beat Gary last year, and he's, you know, he's the old man of the field, and he's sitting there saying, I can still mix it with you, youngsters. He said, I deserve that respect, as he put that one away really well. He's rubbing salt into the wounds now. He wants to strike out and say, cop this. Do you think, Terry, the situation where Ken could possibly have the wood on Gary at the moment with a shot like that? Well, yep. Just rub it in a little bit more. Yeah, you know, he loves it. You, you can have a look, have a look on Ken's face when he throws the ball. He loves it. He says, you, don't you? Crowd appreciate it. Ken, I'm sure, is uh, smiling within here. There it goes, right in the pocket again. He's really relaxed now, actually, Chris. He's he not throwing the ball uh, so wide anymore. He's really coming through the shot well. And a nice finish like that, four in a row. To strike out would be good for the round two match for Ken Sheen. Very good. Gives him that confidence and that impetus to keep going. the perfect finish from Ken Sheen. He's successful. He moves into round two. So it's Ken Sheen, a winner. 2-1-5 over 174 over Gary Key. It's bad luck for Key. He bows out in the Coca-Cola Classic for 89. But Ken Sheen, he's there for another day and he'll be in round two.